Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this Dragon Touch Classic 10 digital photo frame. Now this is worth just about around £100 UK currency or just less than £100 but it does have a lot of features built in. Now you can see that the display here, it's not actual, it's not a cover or anything, this is actually switched on. Okay, so for example you can see that it's touch screen. But what I love about this is that the fact that my floodlight, everything is on, but it's still clear. Everything is clear, you can see it properly. And that's something I like. It is a digital photo frame, so it doesn't matter how much lighting there is, you should be able to see it. It's also touch screen. The frame is made out of plastic, uh, the rest of it is made out of plastic. It comes with uh, user manual here, so I would highly recommend going through this if you want because you'll go through a lot of information. It comes with this antenna, but it has a weird position for some reason. Because if you got this hang, um, this bit here where you hang it onto the wall, the antenna is here, so I don't know why I can't really bend it to the side or anything like that. So the antenna is like more like it stays up like that for some reason, I'm not sure why, but there is a reason. Okay, now. You can hang this, it also has a speaker built in as well, which is at the back here, you can see here. And the power button is there. On this bit, it has a USB charging cable, which is already connected, that's why you can see that. And it has the old charging port, there's an old charging port that you can use as well. It also has a standard USB port, it also has a 3.5mm headphone jack, and it also takes a SD, MMC um, memory card as well. So you got that feature. All right. So these these are the features he has. You can see that it can rotate as well. So you can actually hang this if you want it like this way, or you can hang it this way if you want, or you can actually just use this, and it stays like that. Okay. So that's why it's designed like that. This thing is designed to hold it like this, but it just also it looks like an antenna, but it's not. All right, so so that's all all the things that comes with it. It also comes with a two pin plug, but if you got the USB um, charging cable, you can put it on any USB port and it will charge up. Now this has a lot of features. For example, it has Wi-Fi sharing, photos, videos, alarms, calendar, weather, etc. The display of this is 10.1 HD touchscreen, and the touchscreen of is very smooth as well. Okay, it's easy to press, easy to navigate through. Alright, so let me go back. And it also has a, a touchscreen IP, IPS display. It has a 16 gig internal memory built into this as well, so you can store some videos, pictures, etc. And it also has an app control as well, so you can through the app you can upload videos and pictures to this if you want. So that's the whole point of this digital photo frame. You can actually upload it through uh, your smartphone. So whatever photos you've taken, you can actually upload it here and it's, it's brilliant, especially when it's hanging or it's in a display or on your table or something, you, can, you automatically can just change the photo, um, the wallpaper the way you want it, put a video on if you want, it's pretty useful. Also, the, the photo frame has a unique email address. Now, that email address, you can send any kind of pictures or anything to that unique email address and it will upload it, it will upload everything to this place. You can also use and other options as well, like for example, computer. You can use computers and it will upload it as well. You can also use the other options, which is here, the USB port or the micro SD memory card and stuff, and that's another way to upload it. So various um, options. What I love about this is that it got that it got that amazing IPS display, very smooth, and you can see that very clear as well. Now, so you got the alarm as well. You can put alarm on. Uh, you got the uh, weather, the time, etc. There, you got the videos here, so you can put videos up here and play it if you want. And you got also got the settings here. Now settings, you got the device information, you got user management, so you can put more users if you want. You got PC control here as well. You got the album settings here, so you can put full screen, slideshow, slideshow mode, slideshow interval, um, slideshow and um, transition effect. So you got all these options here as well. You can delete photos, etc., restore default settings. Then you got system settings here, where you got the media volume, you got display. So in display, you can put the brightness up if you want, and put the brightness down if you want. All right. So when the brightness is down, it's, it's pretty down to be honest. And a lot of finger marks goes on it, so make sure you clean that. So you can see yeah, there's, already, there's already a lot of finger marks. Uh, it has 
suspended ball as well and auto rotation if you want to switch it off you can switch it off as well he also has the day and time here where you can put it you know put automatic day, day and time then you got the languages now let's see how many languages he has all right oh so that that's about it that's the only languages he has all right so you can't really swipe down up, up or down i've tried doing that no nope. so these are the only languages so it, it doesn't really cover all the languages but most of them or most frequent ones okay so now you got auto on off as well you got the repeat that's all from, you know you can switch you can you can it has the option to switch off automatically or on as well so you can put that option there and you got factory data reset there as well all right i haven't you haven't went to there so and about now about is just information about this uh, digital photo frame. Now if you click on this, this has the options to upload pictures, videos through USB, SD card, through the internal storage, wherever you got, you can go through and uh, go through everything. Okay, so you can't really swipe or anything. There's nothing really else there. When you switch you on, it will say drag and touch, and it will tell you to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. That's the first thing, and after that, it will tell you to choose your um, location, your language, etc. Before you start, so I skipped all of that just to show you how it operates. You can put the volume up and put your volume down if you want by by using this touch bit here. However, it doesn't come with no remote, so that's one of the downsides. If it came with a remote, it would have been a lot useful, you know, especially if you're in a little bit uh, distance. But then again, you can control it with your smartphone anyway, so there's no need really to have a remote but if you did it would have been just you know that extra accessories there all right so that's all the features i do highly recommend this it is quite expensive it's not like a budget price digital photo frame but because of the features the quality the ips display and the, the features it has built into it i do highly recommend it so thank you for watching my video please do give a like and subscribe